uh, forum has become a marketplace for attracting investment to our great continent. Of course, Africa's time has come. We Africans have let ourselves down and we, we are now, I think, uh, realizing that uh, it has always been our time and we need to seize every opportunity. And so I think it's extremely important when we're having this kind of meeting that we have very much this immediate future in mind when our economies hopefully are going to be locked into a common market uh, with all the the commonalities that that involves for the development of Africa. According to your successful experience and the successful story of your country, what advice are you going, can you give us as foreign investors? Let's do what we know we ought to do. Let's involve our women, we see more numbers of women becoming CEOs because there are many who are capable, so we should not leave our women behind. What was the courage and intention that you had when you decided to change the way in which the cocoa would be handled? Between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire, we're responsible for 65% of the world's output of cocoa. We found that we had a joint uh, mutual assessment of what was the reality and the need for us to do something about the reality. AIF seeks to shift Africa from aid to investment. Africa's greatest resources are its people. We are here to witness game-changing deals, not just speeches. Now Africa is rising and Africa is shining. This is a new, more confident Africa. The Africa Investment Forum is not a talk shop. We deliver on concrete transactions. So welcome to the Africa Investment Forum, the place for investors. The great interest that this forum has garnered since it was inaugurated last year is a clear indication that the international community of investors is optimistic about Africa's prospects. It's also excited about its potential and wants to be part of this wonderful success story that is emerging.